All right, welcome back to the wrap-up as we head to our 6A block. And Tascosa, after their great start, comes into this week with their fate not even in their hands. I know. If they, they can get in with a win or a loss, they're taking on undefeated San Angelo, who, of course, had that big road win last week against Permian. Tascosa on the road this week have yet to win a game on the road. and They need a win, and well, it's not really what they do, but they need Midland High to lose in order to hope to get the playoffs. So let's head out to San Angelo with the Rebels. Yeah, that's right. And Central, of course, winning the district championship last season. We'll pick this up here on first Tesco's to drive. Xavier and King gets the handoff and powers his way to a first down. And then later, King going to jump over the linemen to make it 6-0 Tescosa. Now Central, Maverick McIver going to hand off to Henry Teeter, and he does the rest, powering his way to a first down. A little later, McIver connects with Jesse Scott. The 30 yard dart to make it 7 6 cats. Now, Xavier and King again get a score for Tascosa to take the lead 13 7. Back and forth would continue. McIver calls his own number, hustles his way into the end zone 14 3. Now, ensuing Rebels possession, King going to cough it up this time, and the Orange defense recovers. Now, the Cats on the move. McIver takes us back to the backyard with this play. He looks for someone open, can't find anyone scrambling. Gets a great block from his lineman. Looked a little like Russell for Wilson For the first last down. Night. Now next play, Cody Parker gets a handoff. And check out Noah Perez pulling him into the end zone, giving them the lead. 21-13 in San Angelo. Remaining undefeated. They defeat Tesco's tonight, 35-26. We're joined now with Phil Woodall on the phone from the Panhandle Sports Network. Phil, you were out there tonight at the game. Uh, in San Angelo, they looked like Tascosa had the early lead there. The momentum was kind of in their favor. What happened in the second half? Well, what happened is uh, Maverick McIver, and you guys are way too young to remember his dad, Rick McIver, who played football at the University of Texas, and he played back in the late 70s, early 80s. So y'all are way too young to remember him. But Maverick McIver has a great arm and uh, threw for a couple of touchdowns tonight and also ran for a couple of touchdowns. And when they scored to start the uh, third quarter, had the first drive, made it 28-13. to 13. But Tascosa, to their credit, came back, got a couple of touchdowns and a 45-yard run by quarterback Connor McAnall, who had 117 yards tonight on 20 carries. And Devion Gray had an 11-yard touchdown run. They brought it back when, uh, within 28-26, but after that point, McIver threw another pass to Henry Teeter, who is a great uh, receiver who caught 12 passes tonight for, I think, about 170, 180 yards. And that's what did it, uh, 35 to 26. It's kind of a weird game with Tascosa. Didn't matter what happened. All they had to do was yell for the Odessa High Broncos. And unfortunately, it didn't work out that way as Midland High beats Odessa High and uh, Tascosa is out of the playoffs. Yeah, Phil, talk about that. how much that loss is going to haunt them throughout this offseason, that loss to Midland High, their last home game there. I, I, I think, it, you know, of course it's the end of the season, and I don't think Coach Plunk is the kind of guy that will dwell on that. All he's now is get ready for the 2018 season because he's got a bevy of running backs, got a really good uh, fullback, Zabrian King, who is coming back 246 pounds, but he's also very quick. And he had 70 yards tonight on 10 carries with a couple of touchdown runs of two and three yards. So I think they'll be okay. Uh, they just have to get ready for next year. You know, what they, uh, this year, what really hurt them, that loss to Midland High was huge. But they really didn't have as good a defense as they needed. They had a lot of broken tackles this season. So they really got to improve on the defensive side. And uh, they've got a quarterback. They've got a couple of them, Taylor McKellar, uh, who's a fine junior, and also Evan Enos, who finished up the ball game tonight. Uh, he's also a junior, and so they've got, they've got some hope for the future. They still have some good running backs coming back. So um, I don't think it's going to bother Coach Plunk. He'll just say, well, hey, we finished 6-4. and four. We're ready for 2018. Well, thank you, Phil Woodall there, calling from the Panhandle Sports Network. Appreciate your recap of the game. 